Bible verses about talents, skills and gift most people do not even realize the gifts that God has given them. Each one of us is given gifts by God. We have all been given different talents, gifts, abilities. When we were molded and created in the womb, God gives us our personality and abilities. He also gives talents to every one of us, at least one, often more than one, and we can use those talents for personal satisfaction, to better the world, to build God's church. We all have been commissioned by God to discover and use our gifts for his honor and glory. Some need to discover quickly the gifts that they have we need to discover it and begin in some way to use them and make an impact to those we come into contact with. Each person decides if they will find and use their talents God has given them and then decides if he or she will also use them to build God's kingdom. We have a choice a millions of people every day take what God has given them and strictly use it for their own personal use. Some even believe that God didn't have anything to do with their gifts and do not even acknowledge God. God works in different ways through each of us, and we all serve him faithfully as we use our gifts to glorify him. We should invest the gifts that God has blessed us with wisely. We should use our gifts and abilities to honor God and to bless, encourage and strengthen others in love. Without love, all our gifts are nothing. We should not neglect our gifts, but instead develop them, stir them up, fan them into flamey so broken bar so that they get even better, to the edification of the church and to the glory of God. If a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve if it is teaching, let him teach if it is encouraging, let him encourage if it is contributing to the needs of others. Let him give generously if it is leadership. Let him govern diligently if it is showing mercy. Let him do it cheerfully. Here are Bible verses about talents, skills and gift that will help you to perform better intellectually, mentally, emotionally and spiritually, to achieve your goals in life. 1. Matthew 25 hours 15 minutes to one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability, then he went away, two. 1 Corinthians 12 to 4 6 now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. 3. Proverbs 22:29. Do you see a man who excels in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. 4. Proverbs 18:16. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before the great. 5. 1 Peter 4:10 Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. 6. 1 Corinthians 14:12 So it is with you. Since you are eager to have spiritual gifts, try to excel in gifts that build up the church. 7. Exodus 35 hours 10 minutes All who are skilled among you are to come and make everything the Lord has commanded. 8. 1 Peter 4 colon 10 11 Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, 
so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power for ever and ever. Amen. 9. Matthew 25 colon 15 a to 1 he give 5 talents, to another 2, to another 1, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. 10. 2 Timothy 1, 6, 7 This is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you when I laid my hands on you, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 11. 1 Timothy 4 14 Do not neglect the gift you have which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. 12. Romans 12 to 4 8 For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them, if a prophecy, in proportion to our faith if service, in our serving the one who teaches, in his teaching the one who exhorts, in his exhortation the one who contributes, in generosity the one who leads, with zeal the one who does acts of mercy, with cheerfulness. So if you like to watch and listen to Bible scripture online and you are passionate about the Bible you are in the right place. It's best to subscribe with the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos.